ear ventilation tubes are recommended for persistent fluid buildup behind the eardrum, especially if the condition causes hearing loss and affects speech development. Ear ventilation tubes are inserted into the eardrum with a small incision in order to allow fluids to drain out of the middle ear, reducing pressure and allow any infection to be treated with antibiotics. The ear ventilation tubes fall out or need to be removed after a certain time period. Donaldson, silicone material, and inner flange diameter is 2.3 mm. So it facilitates insertion in smaller incision, silicone material can be compressed for easy insertion. Short-term ventilation tube. Pepperella. Large inner flange with a special V-shaped notch. Obtain ease of insertion in smaller incision, prevent spontaneous extrusion of the ventilation tube. Silicone material can be compressed for easy insertion. T-tube. Silicone material can be compressed for easy insertion. Inner flange length is 8 mm which is larger than other tubes, so it stays for a very long time. Total length variations available in 6, 9 and 12 mm may help resist water, stable positioning in the tympanic membrane, and easy removal. Straight tube. Smaller inner flange facilitates insertion in a smaller incision. Total length 7.25 mm may help resist water migration into the middle ear. Available in PTFE. Donaldson, Pepperella, and T-tube are available in silicone material, and straight tube available in PTFE material.